Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. peeps how you guys doing the day today detroit pistons take on the orlando magic and we are doing so uh, again without blake griffin but the new one is delon wright uh has a grade two ankle sprain will be reevaluated in two weeks so we have a lot of new i don't want to say like players it's more new opportunities for these players so here's what i expect um for delon Wright. i've been trying to talk about this blake griffin one but you guys already know who's going to step up for Blake Griffin's absence, Seku and Sadiq Bey and Graham. And they already all have, so I don't need to talk about that. But today we're talking about DeLon Wright. Who needs to step up now? DSJ is the big one. New to the team. Uh, he just finally started to get his legs out um, and really started to run. You could tell the first couple games he was rusty because in the Knicks, he wasn't playing at all. He has to go to the G League so that way he can get into shape again. And now that he's in shape, he actually looks like he's getting better and better every game. So I hope that continues to stay true. And he should be starting. Right now, since we are hurt and banged up, uh, again, Killian Hayes, will he come back this year? We don't know. DeLon Wright, that's a grade two ankle sprain. Ankle sprains, you know, it's kind of like day by day. You got to see how it's going to go. In this case, it's going to be week by week, man. It depends on how bad it is and how fast he can recover so he could be out for more than two weeks we don't know but i, I do expect uh, dsj to start and play pretty well you know i i think that he's one of these guys who thrives and and pushing the pace and trying to get some points in transition he's very athletic and he wants to attack the rim but he's trying to get his teammates involved too so i want to see him to be a little bit more aggressive and go get his shot a little bit more but that's going to come in time. He's new to the team. He's not trying to step on anybody's toes. He just wants to fit in and be a part of a home and a, a team that wants him. So um, I'm sure that's going to take him a little bit longer to be more aggressive. But if he's starting, I want him to attack the rim, get to the free throw line, put somebody on a poster and all this stuff. Uh, the real question is, what are we going to do for backup? The backup point guard. For the love of God, if Rodney McGriddle plays any lick of minutes for this team, I'm done. I will not talk about Ronnie McGriddle. Play Saban mother effing Lee. There is no excuse for him not to be playing at all. Why is he not getting opportunities right now? You've already been rewarded with Sadiq Bay dropping a 30-point game and beating Boston. You've been rewarded by playing Isaiah Stewart. He brings defense and energy to this lifeless team play Saban Lee Dwayne Casey I am begging you I'm not saying he's gonna be good I am not saying he is gonna flip the script all I'm saying is this guy's got potential if you have a, a point guard like Dennis Smith Jr. who wants to run in transition and push the pace and then you bring a guy off the bench who does the exact same thing and then Saban Lee the defense is gonna get tired man they're not gonna know what hit him He's going to make a ton of mistakes. He's a rookie. He's a second-round draft pick. But who else should be playing? And the answer is nobody. Nobody. And until we can move some pieces around like Blake and Wayne Ellington, maybe DeLon Wright, maybe Mason Plumley, and get a different point guard, right now your two point guards should be Dennis Smith Jr. and Saban Lee. Anything other than that, is unacceptable unless Killian comes back from injury unless DeLon Wright comes back from injury anything else not acceptable I have high hopes and expectations for Saban Lee people um, he's a very athletic player he's a very inconsistent player but when he gets it going he is tough to stop so you have to give these guys some opportunities man and I think that Dwayne Casey will because he should. There's not a whole lot of other options. I'm cool if McGriddle plays a couple of minutes as the third point guard. 
But if he's the go-to guy off the bench, I'm done. I'm going to turn the game off. I'm not going to watch it. And you can call me not a fan, whatever. This is not a good signing. We should have never signed McGriddle. What the hell does he bring to the team? And I don't mean to turn this into a McGriddle slander. But at the same time, I know Dwayne Casey wants to play him. Why? He has no trade value. Unlike Wayne Ellington. Unlike DeLon Wright. Unlike Plumlee. No one's going to trade for him. So if he plays over Saban Lee, I'm turning the game off and I'm not going to watch it. Simple and plain as that. Um, I'll turn it back on in five minutes when he's out of the game and they put Dennis Smith Jr. back in there. Just I can't physically watch it. It hurts my eyes. It makes me just get depressed and I don't want to watch him. So hopefully we don't have to worry about all that. Hopefully he just plays Saban Lee and we can all have a good fun time tanking and trying to get this number one pick. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below, though, man. Since uh, DeLon Wright is going to miss about two weeks uh, at the very minimum, do you think that Dennis Smith Jr. is the right guy that should be starting? And who do you think the backup should be? Do you think McGriddle should? Do you think it's saving Lee time? I'm personally on the Lee uh, bandwagon start uh, Dennis Smith Jr. and bring Lee off the bench. So that's my two cents. Leave your two cents down below in the comments. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, DSA channel, all in the description. Check it all out. And I will see you guys in the next one. And that's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. Peace.